Hello everyone and welcome to another review video. If you like this content and want to see more, then subscribe and hit the notification bell. This video is about the movie Apollo 18, which came out in 2011 and was directed by Gonzalo Lopez Galero. It stars Warren Christie, Lloyd Owen, and Ryan Robbins. The premise of the movie is that Apollo 18, which in reality was canceled by NASA in the 70s, actually took place as a military expedition. And this is the reason that NASA never went back to the moon. And this footage is filmed in the lost footage style. This is basically a science fiction horror movie. So with that out of the way, let's get into it. The movie begins by telling you that this is classified footage that was uploaded to the internet. We then see a shot of the moon and the lander being prepped for launch. We next see the mission commander, the command module pilot, and the lunar module pilot all giving their views, explaining that this is a classified flight and that their families were told different cover stories and you see them preparing the payloads for launch and having a final party before launch. You see the launch, you see the earth out of the command module window and you see them performing a different task as they're on their way to the moon. You see them approach the moon. They get into lunar orbit and you see the lander separate from the command module and successfully touch down on the surface of the moon. John Gray remains with the command module in orbit while Nathan Walker and Ben Anderson are the ones that went down on the surface. They suit up, grab the payloads and the flag, and they exit the module. They then plant the flag and place one of the DoD payloads. And while they're doing that, the power in the lander fluctuates. And they're not concerned. They go in the rover and go to the next location to plant the other payload. So Nathan and Ben set up another DOD payload while John watches them from the command module via the cameras that they're setting up at the same time. As they finish setting up the DOD payload, they began getting a strange interference on their calm line. When they are finished, Ben picks up a rock as a sample to take back and in the distance on the camera you can see a larger rock move slightly. The EVA finish, they go back into the lunar module and then they store away the samples that they collected and they go to bed. At first they are woken up by a noise that they think is interference and NASA tells them they're going to look at it. So they go back to bed. Meanwhile, in the distance, you can see on the camera what looks like a rock move. They're woken up the next morning to get ready for their second EVA when on the camera you see another rock move. As they're getting ready, they notice that one of their rock samples are on the floor and they're confused as to how the rock sample got on the floor. They knew they bagged them all the night before. They go out on the second EVA to set up the next DOD payload. And while they're doing that, they notice that there are tracks on the ground that was not made by them. Once they see the tracks, they make a call to NASA but they can't get a hold of NASA and John and the command module is on the backside of the moon. So for the moment, they're on their own. So they decide to follow the tracks and they follow the tracks to a crater where they see a lander in the distance. And when they get close, they realize it's a Russian lander. Nathan goes into the lander while Ben stays on the outside and Nathan finds that the lander is partially destroyed on the inside, but there is power and oxygen. He also finds a lot of blood. Ben goes to look around and heads into a partially shielded crater where in his flashing light, he finds a dead cosmonaut. 
to go back to the lander and on a secure line they tell Houston what they found and Houston it promises to get a hold of the DOD to question. Meanwhile John is still circling around on the back side of the moon. So they go to sleep and when they wake up they notice that the flag is gone and when they contacted NASA the DOD tells them that they suspected that the Russians sent one cosmonaut up there. And when they told them that the flag disappeared, the DOD told them to get ready to leave. And while they're preparing to leave, it seems as if something hit them. They lost power for a second, and then they lost communications with NASA. So Nathan decides to go outside and see if he can fix the communications because they will need that to take off. When he gets out there, he notices that there are tracks around the place that are not human tracks and that the rover is turned over on its side, which is why they lost communications with NASA. So he rides the rover and Ben starts trying to contact NASA, but Nathan screams that something is in his suit. And then you see what looks like a big spider run across the glass of his helmet. He then disappears and Ben leaves and goes outside to look for him. He finds him and brings him back into the lander. John, who is in the command module, is calling the lunar module without success. And his orbit is about to take him around behind the moon once again. Ben got Nate out of his spacesuit. And that's when he noticed that he was bleeding. And when they examined it, they noticed that there was something hard under the skin. So Ben was able to extract it. And what came out looked like a rock, which Nate promptly breaks with a hammer. Ben and Nate speculate that it's the DOD payloads that are causing the interference. So they go outside to turn them off. But when they get to them, they notice that they're all destroyed. They go back in to get some rest, but they notice that Nate's wound has become infected and that Nate is slowly becoming paranoid. Ben wakes up to find Nate breaking all the cameras in the lunar module because he doesn't want people to watch him die. So he and Ben get into an altercation with Ben trying to stop him. Since the lunar module is running out of oxygen, they decide to go to the Russian module so they can get more oxygen. And on their way there in the rover, Nate overturns the rover and destroys it. Ben goes looking for Nate and he finds him standing on the edge of a crater. Uh, just then, as they're talking, something pulls Nate into the crater. Ben goes down into the crater to try and rescue Nate. But in the flashes of light, you could see that the rocks are turning into what look like big spiders. So he leaves and runs for the safety of the Russian lander. When he gets there, he goes in and closes the door. Using the Russian lander communication system, he gets a hold of the Russians who patch him through to the Americans. And the DOD tells him that they can't bring him back because they can't take the risk. So the DOD tells him that they're going to tell his family that he died for his country. He died a hero. Just then, John in the command module comes back around and they converse and he tells John that he's in the Russian lander and he has fuel and can take off. And John tells him he should take off right away. As he begins the launch procedures, Nate comes and begins banging on the window with a hammer, demanding to be let in. But while he's telling Nate no, you can see that some rock spiders are in Nate's helmet and buzzing all around his face and they cause his head to explode. They then drag Nate's body away. Ben launches the Russian module. Meanwhile, the DOD contacts John in the command module and order him not to rescue Ben. And they say if he does rescue Ben, they will cut off all telemetry to the command module. Just as Ben gains orbit in the Russian lunar module, 
the rocks that the cosmonaut had put away in the module begin to float around him and they turned into those rock spiders that attack Ben and cause him to lose control of the lunar module. John warns Ben that he's coming in too fast but Ben cannot heed his warning because the rock spiders are attacking him. So the lunar module slams into the control module and destroys both of them and that's where the video ends. NASA then reports that all three astronauts died in accidents and their bodies were never recovered. The movie ends with a clip of President Kennedy giving his we choose to go to the moon speech and some facts about moon rocks being missing and the three astronauts at happier times. This is a fun movie and it holds your attention and those three actors did a good job. Anyway, I'd like to thank you for watching and listening and if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video.